Welcome back, everybody. This is our final episode, episode six, for the Atomic Bear Gun Magnet. And what we're going to be doing in this episode is mounting this magnet in a car. So let me go over some things that you're going to need for this installment. All right, super simple for this installment. All you're going to need is your magnet, your 3M double-sided tape, rubbing alcohol, and a cleaning cloth. That's all you're going to need for this installment. Should be super simple, guys. So let's go ahead and let's dive into it. All right, so this is going to be a simple install on the vehicle using the double-sided 3M tape. Now, what I'm going to be doing is putting it underneath my steering wheel right here. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is raise the steering wheel up probably about as high as you can get it. Now, once it is up, what we're going to do is you have a regular cloth. Take a little bit of this rubbing alcohol pour it on here and we're gonna clean the back of this magnet make sure nothing is on it then we're gonna clean the area where we're gonna be putting it so right here below and basically what we're gonna be doing and while we're doing this is just to get rid of some of that dust so that tape sticks on there a little bit better now as you see, this is almost dry already, so we'll take the back side of it, kind of dry it off. Dry this part off right there. Okay, so once your magnet is dried off and the area where you're placing the magnet is also dry, what you're going to do is take your double-sided 3M tape right here. Now, you only want to peel off the yellow piece first. So, you take the yellow piece off, and on the back of your magnet, you're going to want to place it to where it doesn't cover up any of these holes. So, right here, and then, boom, just like so. So, right here, as you can see. Now, right here is where we're gonna be mounting the magnet. So, once we kinda do a test on it, all right, that looks pretty good right there. So, we're gonna take our finger now, and remove the back side of that sticker. Now, the next press that you're going to do needs to be exactly where you want it. And you're going to want to put pressure on this thing for about 45 to 60 seconds. All right, that's about 60 seconds right there. So, as you can see, this thing is on there great. So, the 3M double-sided tape is actually super strong. All right, so I've got the 45 right here. Let's go ahead, let's mount it and see what it looks like. So, right here on the first. Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. Quick pull down on it. The, the magnet itself is still staying strong. Now, what I would like to do is maybe to give it a little stronger grip is to go ahead and turn it that way. Now, I like to ride with my steering wheel up. However, if I were to lower it just like that, still got plenty of room for it boom so again you see a threat simple pull off assist your situation and then remount your gun no problem at all so guys right here with the 3m sticker it is super strong now let's go ahead let's drive around and let's put this thing to the test all right so headed to the post office right here it's probably i don't know two miles so we're probably going to get around 45 miles an hour and let's see how this thing does. So right here, going around a sharp curb right now. A few bumps. Still seems to be doing okay. Now let's turn it. So right at 50, I don't want to get a speeding ticket with 35 miles an hour. However, right here, as you can see, it's probably not the safest thing to do to film while you're driving, but that right there is holding just fine. Okay, so we just stopped at a red light, and basically what I've got now is the gun turned horizontal. So. As you can see, my feet have no problem moving right here. And if even if I wanted to, I still have the option of pulling it and 
remounting it. Now, that sticker or that 3M double-sided tape is holding up perfectly. Okay, so we're running out of daylight. However, I do have these cab lights that we're cutting on. Now, the gun, as you can see, rides super smooth. However, you're not always gonna have a smooth ride. So, one thing that we're gonna check out right here is how it does with an abrupt brake check. So, what I'm gonna do is once I get a little bit closer to the house, I'm gonna slam on brakes. I'm gonna keep this GoPro on the speedometer and then keep that camera on the gun. So, let's go ahead, let's do that, and let's check this thing out. All right, so we are traveling a little bit over 40 miles an hour, hitting a few bumps right here. Still seems to be doing fine. Now let's go ahead, let's slam on brakes. Complete stop right here where we are. And with a fast takeoff, as you can see, the gun has not moved at all. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching our six-part series on the Atomic Bear gun magnet. Now, if you have any questions about your magnet, you can email support at theatomicbear.com, and they will answer any questions that you might have. And also, don't forget to go to theatomicbear.com slash lifetime and register your magnet for that lifetime warranty. So I hope the videos helped, guys, and be sure to check out our bonus video, and I will see y'all in the next one.